a lot and I love it. I get asked so many times what I'm doing when I'm crouching on shore. It's easy to miss all the fish in your local streams. I'm going to show you two main pieces of camera equipment that I use, a GoPro and an Olympus Tough camera. I'll also show you how I use them in the stream. I have three GoPro models. The reason I have three is that sometimes I'm stationary and I want to film multiple reds so that I maximize the chance of getting good video. I also have three methods of securing the GoPros. These work while filming a stationary subject. The first is the most risky, just stick it under a rock. In strong current, you do risk the rock getting pushed by the force of the water and your camera getting washed downstream. Also, if there are big active fish around, there's the chance that the fish knocks your camera down and you end up filming 45 minutes of rocks. The second way takes a little time, but it's cheap. You need to find a flat rock that will fit the GoPro base. This is the base that came with the GoPro when I bought it, so no extra cost. Attaching it is a tricky part. I managed to get hot glue to stick for a while, but the key safety feature was zip ties to keep the base secure. The third method is buying some sort of flexible tripod. This one is nice because the legs are long enough to go around rocks. Now you've got to pick your spot. You should always have the setup ready to go so you're in and out as fast as you can. Then you just hope the fish cooperate before your battery dies. Depending on your settings in the model, I get between 45 minutes to one hour, at which point I have to retrieve the camera and change the battery, and then I might try a new spot. The other strategy is mobile video. Especially during migration, fish aren't always stationary and may not return to the same spot when spooked. In these situations, I use a selfie stick. You need a strong one because you'll be fighting the current in the stream. This is the one I currently use. I removed the bottom tripod because it just got in the way. You can also get painter poles at a home hardware store. They don't retract as much, and so they're less convenient to carry, but they have a much longer reach. Because they're so long, you'll really feel the pull of the current. You'll probably need to buy a GoPro attachment for a painter pole. When filming with these, it takes a little patience to get the position right since you're shooting blind. Wi-Fi doesn't travel through water, so you can't pair these devices to your phone. My other go-to camera is an Olympus Tough TG6. The main reason I love it is the macro setting. The GoPros are great for wide-angle shots, but they don't focus very close, and that doesn't work for capturing details or for small fish. For small fish or juvenile salmonids, I have a lot of luck simply looking for them from shore, slowly creeping up and crouching by the edge. The fish often return as long as you move slowly. For fish further away, the selfie stick is again a great tool. The main issue you may run into is that it can be hard to judge where the fish is relative to the focus point of the camera, so that does require practice. Those are the main cameras that I use. I do have another underwater setup, but for versatility, you can't go wrong with a GoPro for wide-angle shots and an Olympus Tough for close-ups. The main thing is patience. I can't even count the number of times I spooked a fish or is just too far away. And luck. Some days and some fish are just better than others. Underwater filming is so rewarding. It's so great to see these incredible creatures in their natural habitat doing their thing. Give it a try. I included links to gear in the description below. Good luck.